be nice to be out there fishing. You know what would make that better? A new boat. Well, as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my rod and my reel and I'm headed to the lake. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite lures and they're loaded in my pack. All that stress that's in my body's always driving me insane. When I'm reeling in that buzzbait, it just seems to go away. Now you see fish Ain't a habit, it's a passion in my souls when I'm casting and smashing. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. I am sorry because I am going to be yelling in this video because the wind is a little atrocious today. I'm not sure if the dead cat on top of my camera is going to be muffing that wind a lot or not. But, anyways, I want to thank each and every one of you that like and subscribe to our channel. If it wasn't for you, this boat wouldn't be possible. So, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of this from top to bottom. Let's start off by saying it is a Tracker Targa V 19 footer WT Tournament Edition. It's a lot of words, but let's get in. So, I did get this model with a premium travel cover. And what the travel cover is going to get you is access to your pop-up cleats uh, there's like six of them on here so you can get your cleats at any position this also has a full front to rear latching system it's not hooked up at the moment but this piece here goes to the back of the boat you pull on a string and you can hear that ratcheting and what's that doing is putting pressure all the way up across there so it keeps this top extremely tight this is this is the best travel cover that I have seen so far. Another thing that it comes with is 100 tie down straps. And Andy likes to tie his in knots, so this one right here just drives me nuts all the time. But along with the cinch straps, it does have a ratcheting strap in here to connect the entire circumference of this tarp. You can actually cinch that down so that it stays tighter to your boat. Now, along with your cleat openings, as you can see, get right in here, get your cleat, tie up to a dock, leave your cover on there. It also does have breathable holes right here to let a little bit of that heat escape. I got 15 more straps to undo. All right, beings, this is a premium travel cover. As you can see underneath here, it's got nice felt under here to keep your boat from being scratched from the cover. It's super heavy and thick. I would say by the time this cover is off of here and I'm trying to hold it, it's about 50 pounds. So doing it by one person is a chore, but with two people helps out great. So let's get this cover off of here. That's his way of saying I have to help him take this cover back off and we'll be right back into filming. So on the bottom of the engine, we are running a stainless steel Mercury 17 pitch prop. And that's being ran by a Mercury four stroke. That's just the name of it, Mercury four stroke. 150 horsepower motor now it's a pretty powerful motor i kind of wish i would upgrade it but then again I, I'm, I'm glad that i went with my decision on sticking with just a 150 it maxes out at 225 top speed on this is 43 miles an hour by the instrument gauge 40.5 by gps so i'd uh, i'd rather go with gps but then again i kind of like to brag and says it does 43 so I kind of wish I would have went with the 225. That way I, cr I could have cruised at 40 miles an hour instead of cruising at 32. Now back here on the back, you do have a swim platform. It's really just a step. It's really nice and handy to stand on, do your business off the back of the boat. It does have an emergency ladder. The reason why I say emergency is because I don't really trust this being out of the water and climbing up on that but it is super handy for when you get out and fish swim unless you set the hook 
really hard and fall off the boat, I would say probably swimming. Oh yeah, emergency. So this does have the VersaTrack system that runs from back to front, wraps all the way around. I'm gonna tell you guys, save your money. Do not buy any VersaTrack equipment. What I have here is a Bass Pro Shops rod mount. I think I paid $23 for this. Bought my own quarter 20 lag bolts that fits in here just fine. And that's all their stuff is like over here. It's a quarter 20, but they do have a special little spinning thing behind here to lock that in place. $23 for, for this. This is a Bass Pro model. The, the Bass Pro Shops model. The tracker model is $75 for the exact same thing, but it just has special nuts in it. I'm gonna save a lot of money and just keep going with these. I can add anything I want to this to where the VersaTrack system, they, have, they only have a limited amount of accessories that you can put on here. All right, so this boat has a ton of storage on it. Under this box right here, I'm pretty sure it's locked. No, it's not. It's just your cranking battery. So I'm not gonna be storing anything in there. So kind of wasted space on that one. Right here, this is my personal tackle box. Uh, got a long way to fill that one up. Over here is where I'm gonna be keeping my mooring rope, uh, anchor rope, anything like that. Wash down the boat after I'm done boating there. And one of my favorite features back here is this humongous live well. Now what it does have, it has a pump out system back here as long as well as a drain plug in here. So I really like the pump out feature. You can get some water out of here real quick. Uh, this does have a live well bucket for your, your minnows and whatnot. It also has an LED light on the inside. I thought the LED light was a gimmick, but after cleaning this out one night, trying to get all the fish out of here, that light is actually impressive. Now, one other thing about this back deck, of course, when you're buying a boat, you have to talk your better half into reasons why this boat is best for your family, right? We all have to talk them into that. This boat is six foot wide. <laughs> so beyond talking your wife into getting a boat and telling her how she's able to come back here, lay down, be out of everybody's way, storage is another option if you're taking your friends and family out storage is just an option uh, an abundant option this one right here this is going to be our designated trash can even though i'm still setting stuff up for this boat that's what that's going to be designated for the seating positions on here we're going to have four of them and these are premium seats if you buy these seats for other boats for a fact $700 from another company. These boats, these seats come standard on this boat and there are four of them. Uh, we can take these seats out. Usually I'll just run with two or three seats in here because this is really only a two person boat unless the uh, other halves wanna come along with us. But other than that, it's just a two person boat. Uh, so this seat is stationary. All these, other, all these other seats can come out. You can put one here, one on the back deck and one up on the front deck. Now all of these are hydraulically cushioned seats. You're not gonna find that in too many boats as a standard option. So even though all these other seats are hydraulic and they spin, the captain's chair is the one that will slide back and forth. It has, no, they, they all raise and lower, but you know, the, the, the height adjustment on the, the raising and lower of these is fantastic. It's got a, tilt steering wheel on it which is nice uh, I don't drive standing up but it's definitely up here for that I prefer to have mine down all the way so that I can keep a good view on the hummingbird graph over here on the gauges you know it's it's standard gauges rpm miles per hour water pressure fuel pressure your trim gauge and your fuel speaking of fuel this holds 47 gallons of fuel so you're gonna be voting for days, especially being that I went with a 150 horsepower motor. I can run for a very long time on 47 gallons. Uh, the switches on here, I really like all of these switches. Uh, you would think that the live well light is on, but it's not because I have a fantastic master power switch here. 
So with the master power switch, I really like that. And that literally cuts the power to everything on this boat except for the motor. So the horn, isn't that fun? Horns are always fun and funny. Uh, anyway, you got your bilge pump, your forward and aft auto aerator, forward and aft auto aerator. Am I wrong? No. No, one for each. And then a recirculate or pump out option for both of your tanks right here. Nav lights and live well lights. Now the pump out system, why I really like it. I have, if you've ever been in a boat that has a slow draining live well, it takes, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes for a live well to drain out completely so you can reach down there and grab your fish without chasing them around the tank. And I do have a big tank on here, so I want the least amount of water in there. With the pump out system, this actually pumps it out. And I'm talking a stream, a constant stream, about an inch and a half thick. So it gets the water out of the tank in a hurry. You can get your fish out of the live well a lot quicker and easier. So this does have a Bluetooth radio on it as well as AM, FM. Uh, the antenna on it isn't very good. We're right next to a radio station and sometimes this loses its reception. So most of the time we're just Bluetooth and podcasts off of this. When it comes to music, uh, I, we might be running 10 watts these speakers, I'm not sure. I'd like to see a 3000 watt system in here because these speakers should start cutting it. So some of the other storages that this has is on the gunwale on the side, keep a uh, really nice dip net in here. This does extend really quickly. Uh, it has your running lights, your green and white lights, and an oar stuck in there. I do have my bumper cushions tucked way back in here. There is a lot of room in here, but I'm not going to be stuffing this with a lot of stuff because this is a main routing point for some of the wiring. So I prefer to leave this hole right here just as it is. Don't clutter it up too much. Right above that, we're gonna have a really nice gunwell storage, which holds three rods per piece. Now, this boat, I have my fishing gear over here, and I have my bass and crappie gear on the other side. So, it holds three. It can't, it's capable of holding three. I think that if you put rod socks on this, you could probably fit six rods in each one of these. Now, if you want to talk about an unfair advantage, this is Andy's rod locker. So he's got, I think, uh, I think I counted it the other night, 19 rod and reels in this storage. What? I don't... So up here, bottom center, I I would have liked to have seen this been a a more of a ski storage instead of just this hole because there's plenty of room under this deck for that. I do keep a uh, readily accessible throwable there and underneath here, keep some life jackets along with the trolling motor batteries here. It also comes with a three bank battery charger and a 24 volt system. All right, now these storage compartments up here up front, I would really call them more family friendly options. This is where I'm gonna keep my bug spray and my SPF 50, I'd like to move to SPF 100. Maybe even 200. This one right here might be locked. It's unlocked. Uh, there's another storage compartment right here. I will never put anything in here because there's a lot of exposed wires and this is where all the magic happens. So this one right here is usually locked. Now going back into storage, uh, I don't know if you can see the piano hinge bar right there, but there is a small storage compartment under there. Uh, you can hold your meth pipe, whatever you want under there, but there is a small storage underneath there. Now let's talk about the excessive use of storage for cup holders. Back here we've got one, two. Up here we have three, four. Up here we have five, six. Now we're going to have to go up front. Up here we have seven, eight, nine. Nine cup holders. The boat only allows eight people. 
And personally, being a small bass boat guy myself, I have a 16 foot Triton bass boat. I'm limited on storage. And having the dual console set up on this is awesome because we also have a nice little glove compartment box on the dual console that's great for throwing your paperwork, your wallet, your phone, your keys, getting all that stuff out of your pocket. Now this does have the option for a single console, but I've been in a single console before and I've been behind dual windshields before. But let me tell you, if you get a walkthrough windshield with a closable windshield, this is a game changer. Not really a game changer, but it definitely closes a lot of wind and rain and water splash. If you're going through some gnarly waves, the waves will come up. But this windshield is a lifesaver sometimes. So up here in Andy's home area, he's the one usually running the live well. Because uh, I'm the only one that catches fish. <laughs> so he keeps all of his tackle stuff up here along with a uh, safety light for night. It's about dead. Is my rape whistle in there? Yes. So uh, all his bait and tackle are in here with a lockable lid. Way up here we have another compartment. And normally my foot control for the trolling motor is in here, but currently we have a mooring line and a remote for the trolling motor. Over here on the other side, I don't even remember what we put in here. Absolutely nothing. It's empty. But there's another storage spot right there. Now another fantastic addition to this boat is this gargantuan live well up here. Uh, 13 gallons, I believe. Uh, it, it's enough to hold a bunch of crappie. How many, did we have 20 crappie in? Did we have 20 crappie in here? Probably. Yeah, 20 crappie in this live well. All right, now I'm on backtrack just for a second. We have courtesy lights back here on the side. One there. One over here. We have one up here for the rod locker. There's not one inside. And there's another one up here. Now, even though the, it's daylight out, guys, you can't see those very well, but at night, these will light up the entire uh, inside of the boat and you can see what you're doing. So they are sufficient for nighttime. So along with the lights, we also have two cigarette lighter ports, 12 volt systems there, one there, one over here, and one, have one up here yeah there's one more up here underneath the Garmin live scope the Garmin system uh, which does not come with the boat <laughs> I would like to switch one of these over to a USB port because not everything runs off of a cigarette lighter port so USB would be nice in one of these now one of the selling points of why I was able to get this boat uh, my wife she wants to sit up here and there's nice back pads right here Put a throwable cushion under there and she's comfortable up here. She can actually sit up here, read her book while Andy's up here in the rest of the area fishing. There's a ton of room on here. Well, behind the back pads, you have storage areas. Uh, I keep my screen protectors up here along with the battery to run the Garmin. All right. So being this is the tournament edition, it does come with a hum Hummingbird Helix 7. That's both here on the front and behind the dash here. These units are connected together and I'm really satisfied with the Humminbird systems. It's got down sonar, side sonar, mapping, anything like that that you want. Uh, so I am super happy with the Humminbird products. Again, this is, this is aftermarket. I installed this myself. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, the Minn Kota Tarova with the iPilot. This is an amazing product. I could have went with the Altera, but with the Tournament Edition Targa, this is what comes with your boat. If you get the shorter boats, I don't think that that's gonna come with it, but in the 19 foot, it does come with an 80 pound thrust Minn Kota Tarova. Now with the iPilot, it's got so many neat features on it. You just push a pedal, it'll keep you in a straight line. Uh, it'll keep you in a single spot. It's so easy to run. It's all electronic. It's not cable driven or anything like that. So I am super happy that it's got the Trova on here. Now I pulled it out of here earlier and just showed you guys what was in here. The Trova also comes with an iPilot link 
remote control. And this is if you're in somewhere in the boat, you're fishing the back of the boat, you can run your trolling motor straight from this. Uh, you know, if you prefer to fish off the back, you don't like the front, you can control the front with this and put yourself right where you want to be. And it has every feature in here that the pedal has and more. So this does come with a fully installed vinyl floor. There are carpet on the walls and whatnot, but other than that, the, the entire floor is linoleum. And I do like that for one reason, and that is ease of cleaning. Uh, that does need to be washed off, boat needs to be vacuumed out or whatnot. But I will be installing a sea deck type of material up here. Like up here on the gunwales, you have this rubber stuff, and that's what the sea deck is going to be. Uh, it's easier on your feet. Right now, the vinyl, it's, it's just a hard floor. I'd like to have something a little bit softer to stand on, so I will be upgrading to that. Speaking of upgrades, up here on the front, we do have the Garmin Live Scope. I will do a video on this later on. Uh, definite upgrade to any boat is the Garmin. Right now, it's a 93 SV with the Live Scope uh, black box up there in a storage tray, along with uh, the downrigger right here for your transducer made by fishfindermounts.com and uh, that mount is right here now this is an all welded aluminum boat uh, this does have a reverse chine just like any of the boat of the boats that you're going to find uh, i do have pros and cons on this first of all for 2020 tracker has upgraded the aluminum thickness to 0.125 do your own research on it. Find out who makes the thickest holes out there. Uh, one other downside, like those are the plus sides of this boat. One downside to it is, is up here towards the front, you do not have a splash, a splash guard. There is a very small one, but there are boats that have bigger splash guards. So from time to time, you will get big waves that come up and hit the windshield. Now that's in some pretty gnarly water, and that's, I mean, I mean really bad water will water come up here and get into it. All right, so this does come with a premium powder cover, powder coated trailer, along with the premium wheels, so you're not running around looking a little bit less. It does have LED running lights all around the boat, uh, one up on the tongue, one on the fender well, and in back. It also has three on the bottom, uh, letting people know that you do have a long and wide load. Uh, a couple of the upgrades that I've made on this boat, and I do appreciate all these people for reaching out. Uh, trailer valet. This is a screw gun operated jack. So you can run this from bottom to top in like 20 seconds if you need to. If you're one of those people that get tired of cranking and cranking and cranking, this is a jack for you, guaranteed. Almost forgot to mention, along with the premium wheels and tires, this does come with a full wheel and tire spare that matches all the other wheels and tires on the boat, which is a big plus. Now this does have a three-tier step system to get up into the boat. Uh, I gave the top step to my dad because the grab handle is a little too large, but if the system was here, you would step here. There's a step right here that's missing, so you'd step on that. Whoa! whoa and then step up here and then into the boat. But like I say, the grab handle is clear up here. I'm gonna get that back from him, cut that down, because this is pretty tall to get in and out of. Uh, it also comes with a swing away tongue, making the full length of this boat uh, 22, 20, 22 three? Something like that. I don't know, it fits in my garage and literally I have this much room to spare. So I'm glad that the swing away tongue is on there. Uh, another sponsor that I am super appreciative of sending us out a product is Rhino Hitch Hitches. Uh, USA made solid aluminum billet trailer hitch. As you can see, there's a, there's a system here. You can see how it's curved. This can go all the way up to a plus three, or if you have a jacked up truck, this can go all the way down to a minus seven. So that's a drop seven hitch. Now, even though it's not part of the package, I know some of you are probably watching this video to see what the boat's about, how fast it goes, or can you tow it? I have a Chevrolet with a 6.2 liter in it. Uh, what am we, uh, 460 horsepower. It pulls it just fine, as long as you have this trailer leveled out and at the proper height. 
it pulls it really good but I get eight miles a gallon when towing this so keep in a consideration of what you're going to be pulling this with keep in mind your tow ratings this one's rated for I think 15,000 maybe 13,000 but keep that in mind that this boat weighs two tons I forgot to mention speaking of two tons worth of boat and trailer this does have trailer brakes on it and they are surge protected brakes all right so when launching and retrieving this boat it really couldn't be any easier on this boat if you can't get it on this trailer buy a jet ski so it does have the trailer bunks on here which are they're very very v'd out because it is a v-bottom but once you get the nose up into there those uh those bunks are going to guide you straight up to the polar and on for windy days when your boat's drifting aside or not it does have really sturdy side bunks so guys that was just a uh, quick overview of the new boat tracker target v19 wt tournament edition with a 150 horse four stroke i'm about done with this review we got some white bass to catch to my boss though he's driving me berserk eh? damn it i can't take much more because my brain is really hurting and now the bank is always calling and i don't know what to do and i haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992 but the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack and i got all my favorite lures and they're loaded in my pack all that stress that's in my 